Hello, Bill Hayes again. Today I'm going to be trying something that's a little bit different for me, and that is uh, just a consistency check, okay? It's to see how many shots in a row I can put on target, on a really small target, from a fairly decent distance, like uh, about 33 feet. Well, I'm going to go on for 40 feet, but but the uh, the uh, record, as we, as we know it, is from 33 feet. And uh, that was set by Blue Skeen uh, in, the ninth, in the 70s sometime or another. And uh, that was 16 hits in a row on a one-inch target uh, on a paper. So that means that the uh, target actually, if you're using a gong or something, it could actually be a little larger because uh, you would be hitting the edges. Now, so let me show you what we got here. Okay, I have a uh, rubber mat. And it has a gong behind it. Okay, now that gong, oh, I don't have any ammo on the pocket, so that's perfect. That gong, if you hit it, it'll sound like, oops, well, let me do this better here. That gong will sound like, uh, dad gummit, <sighs> that, <laughs> okay, if you hit it. Now, if you hit on the edge, it'll kick into it, whatever, that's, that's fine. Uh, let's see the size of that gong. Do I have a tape measure? I had one in my pocket, I thought. There it is. Tape measure here shows this gong to be one and a quarter inches, okay? Uh, the, the, the holes, one and a quarter inches. All right. Now I have a tape measure right here. This tape measure comes all the way out here. to 33 feet where, uh, where Blue Skin was shooting. I'm going to go a little further. I'm going to come out here to 40 feet. Okay, and I put a uh, sawhorse right here to, to mark it so I can't step in front accidentally. And then I put a clock over here also because I found out last night with some uh, editing software I could actually cut shots out if I needed to. I'm going to put this on a tripod. We've got a big giant plane flying over here. so. I'm going to put this on pause for a minute for a minute while that plane passes and then also go get a drink and put some ammo in my pocket as well, okay? All right, so I'll be right back. There's the clock. There's the hole in the thing over there. And like I said, I'll be right back. The plane's getting ready to be here. It'll, be, it'll just tear up, the, tear up your ears. Okay, I'm back. We've got a lot of planes flying over today because it's uh, not a very windy day. And uh, we have Raytheons right down the... Uh, road there and they uh, tend to do a lot of uh, uh, airplane refitting and stuff and so so they're trying them out today while it's not got 30 to 40 mile an hour gusts like it did yesterday. So anyway, let's uh, try some out. I might, it might take me a couple shots to get, uh, to get my eye down but uh, we'll see. Of course now as soon as I start doing all this it looks like the wind's going to want to start picking up. We'll see here, though. I need to do this before the wind picks up for the afternoon, though. One. I can imagine I'm probably only going to get maybe five or six in a row to start with, and then I'll probably have to uh, restart. We'll see. Two. into it. Five. Six. Seven. Kicking off those gong, kicking off the gong and rolling all the way back over here. Eight.
Nine. Ten, barely. Again, it hit the edge and then kicked into it. So it's ten. Eleven. Thirteen. Jesus, that was close. Shake my muscles out a little bit. I'm working working a lot this morning, and also did a nice workout on the, some weights and stuff, and got my muscles and everything a little bit goosey. Doing a lot of dog work and all this morning. So it's thirteen. Fourteen. That one that felt like it was dropping off at the end after I after I did the shot. Fifteen. Sixteen dead freaking center. Seventeen dead center again. Eighteen dead center again. Not bad. I like this slingshot. This is a these uh, universal forks one here really allows you to line these things up really easily. Now that's one of the things that, that I haven't showed a lot of people though is when I do this I is I line this up exactly vertical. I, I actually take my eye off. If, if I'm good precision shooting like this, I'll take my eye off and I'll actually make sure this is lined up on my uh, forks are lined up not uh, not just the bands so is that uh, 18 19 so really all I have to do is worry about elevation whether I'm uh, going too high or too low on my shots I, I can be dead in line with it almost every time Twenty. I get twenty-one. I'll be very happy. Again, my muscles are goosey, and see what we can get done. That's it. Okay, twenty is the record. Then I guess I got a. Again, like I said, I had some fairly hot bands on here. These are uh, one inch by a three-quarter inch uh, point zero fifties. And so they're they're a little bit tight, uh, and and I'm I'm just a little bit goosey feeling today anyway because of all the exercise and all I've done today too. Uh, this is again this is one of my uh, Ranger style slingshots. It's in G10. There's your clock there to make sure that no cheating went on. There's your target over there. Hope that's good enough. All right, have a good day. Thank you for watching.